Today, brought to you by Convey. When you believe you can, you can. Ahead on today, we have Perth's only local and live 7 o'clock news, sport and weather with our mate Tim McMillan. That's up next. Just for you, Perth, when today's show continues. Thanks for watching. With Tim McMillan, this is Today, Perth News. A hospital in a gas leak emergency in East Fremantle. The Rolling Stones cancel their entire Australian tour as Mick Jagger reveals his heartache. And Cyclist Fury, a rider in a bike lane taken down by a taxi door, then blamed. Good morning, welcome to the 7am edition of Today Perth News. There's a hospital emergency in East Fremantle this morning. Patients at the Kalia Maternity Hospital have been in lockdown. Rachel Carey, this was all sparked by a chemical scare. Yes, Tim, the 36 patients here at Kalia Maternity Hospital in East Fremantle were in lockdown this morning after residents on nearby Woseley Road reported being awoken by what sounded like a gas leak at around 4am this morning. We arrived and it, um, it appears that it was uh, oxygen uh, venting um, from a large car size uh, cylinder at the back. Police have issued a predator alert this morning after an abduction attempt on a teenage girl outside a Camillo primary school. Ben Hennessy, a man tried to lure the girl into his car. Well, Tim, yeah, certainly a very frightening experience for this 16-year-old girl. Now, she was walking to Groveland's primary school in Camillo yesterday afternoon on her way to pick up her younger brother when she was approached by a man in an unknown vehicle. Uh, now, he's tried to entice her into his car on several occasions, offering her lifts, uh, but on each occasion, she has declined his requests. Now, he's been described as 25 to 30 years of age with dark skin and a shaved head. Uh, at the time, he was driving a small black hatchback, uh, which was last seen driving west on Groveland Drive in Camillo. Uh, and we'll have full details on this story throughout the morning. Tim. Thank you, Ben. A man is fighting for life. Uh, Christine, thank you. Let's check in with Sal now to see how our roads are looking this morning. Sal. Hello there, good morning. Now if you're heading out on the roads, there's been a crash on Row Highway just before the Maida Vale off-ramp heading north. A man has crashed his car into a tree. Emergency services are there, but uh, still traffic is flowing well. The Mitchell Freeway southbound is travelling well at the moment too, and Quinana Freeway northbound is slow from Russell Road through to Berrigan Drive. Looking clear in the CBD for now, Tim. Thank you, Sal. There's a new development in the battle to drive drugs out of sport. The NRL has announced it'll be the first Australian sport to test players for prescription drugs. Sally's back now with a look at weather. Hello again. It has been a little cooler than expected. We got down to about 17 degrees about an hour ago, but it's warming up quickly already on just above 19 degrees. It's set to be a beautiful day, tops of 34 degrees, and it's going to stay warm tonight before a late subtly change. So perhaps a good night for a little alfresco dining, Tim. Thank you, Sal. Still to come this morning, where to find Perth's cheapest petrol if you have to top up this morning and where to watch out for speed cameras. Plus, the WA Beach is named in the best in the world. And some good news for butter lovers. Bank West, the boys feel like a real...